This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Silverado 3500. That's a one ton, regular cab, two wheel drive, 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel. Uh, it's a dual rear wheel and it's got a killer work bed on it. Uh, work box, it's really cool. We uh, bought it as a uh, trade-in. It was a, I believe it was a Holmes Tuttle Ford trade-in. Uh, that we bought uh, directly. I, uh, I'll have to look at it. I know it was a dealer trade-in. I just I'm not sure which dealership it was. Um, it needed an oil cooler, which we did. It also needed motor mounts, mounts which we did. It's got uh, Michelin uh, tires all the way around. The rears are probably 20 or 30 percent tread. The fronts look almost brand new. Uh, I'm gonna walk you around this truck. I'm gonna start with the driver front fender. Um, it is red. They didn't. It, it came this way. Usually, these work trucks are are white, and then someone paints over them. But uh, it appears they ordered this one red. So I don't know if it belonged to a, a fire department or something. I can see where there used to be like stickers or something on this fender. So maybe it was some sort of a fire department truck of some sort. I see a little white right there. I don't know. I don't know what was going on here. It's a good looking truck, man. It, that truck bed is worth a fortune and it's a Duramax, so we all know what that's all about. It's two wheel drive. See how you can see that there's a, there was a sticker from here to here along the whole fender. Incredible work vehicle coming up here. Uh, obviously it's a Duramax, so it's going to bring a fortune, but they're worth it. It's, uh, this work bed is crazy. With the self-closing doors right there. So if you, you close it, there's also a lock for it. So you lock this. See how this deal turns? That locks all the doors. So you can do this, put a, put a master lock through there and lock up all your stuff. It's got this top box there. You've got a little uh, step here so you can step up. Put your foot, put your foot right there and step up. I guess that, I thought that would roll out. Maybe it, eh, no, it doesn't. That's just a fixed tray right there. Let's see. Here's your, it has dual uh, fuel tanks, which is pretty cool too. Now this was a white bed. Uh, it's, I guess there's a chance the whole thing was white and they painted it red. I don't know. I don't think people are going to really care about that. But. Let's see. This utility bed was made by Stahl. This is kind of a cool feature too. It slides all the way back from there. See where it stops there. But uh, it's kind of a cool little feature. It's got a bunch of little tow packages back here. I'm not really sure what the side one's for, but I'm sure people know what that's all about. These guys, we're gonna put a new toggle switch. These were wired directly into the uh, reverse lights. We're gonna put a, a different toggle switch on them so you can work them independently. We haven't done that yet, but we will. And probably put the toggle switch inside that door. There's another one. These, these struts are bad um, on this thing. I, we're gonna look for them. See if we can figure it out. That's why I've got this metal holding it up. Because these little tiny struts are done on this side. Like I said, you have dual tanks. Looks like the inside tires are a little bit higher tread than the outside, which is normal on a dually. The outside looks like it's probably 10 or 20 percent tread. The inside look a little bit better, like 30 or 40 percent tread. Peeling paint there. It's a great looking truck though, man. Let's see if the yep. Make sure the remote works. There's the remote. All right. 
I'm gonna fire it up, show you under the hood. Like I said, we did an oil cooler and uh, motor mounts for it. There you go. 168,423 miles. It's a very unusual work truck. It's got power windows and locks, power mirrors. This is the big shots of the truck, I would imagine. The head of whatever the service was they were providing. See how you have red back here? I'm looking for some white. Some white. These were probably, yeah, these were stickers. This is the residue from the stickers that they peeled off here. So that's some sort of white sticker. I'll bet this was some sort of a fire service truck, which is great news. As that would mean that uh, they maintain the crap out of their stuff. Got this uh, contractor sticker on it. I don't know. I mean, Um, generally speaking, these work trucks are white and they have crank windows and uh, they're pretty plain. This thing's got a gigantic, very nice stall work bed. All the bells and whistles on that thing. Here's the passenger window. Door locks. Look at the seats, man. This is crazy. Well, Maybe a work truck, but I don't know. Not a whole lot of heavy-duty work got done. Here's a manual for it. That's unusual to see. This is going to be very, very quick. This one. So, please make sure you get your offer in. Get it accepted. Uh, and, uh, this is the lens cover on this. Uh, make sure you get your deposit in. We don't have a deal until we have a deposit and this truck is going to be very quick. I'd be shocked if this wasn't sold in the first day. Let's see. Other side. Out. In. Down. Alright. Let's see. Door locks. We know they work so I just locked myself out of the other side. Here's the carpet. Seat feels good. Boy, they took really good care of this truck. Here's the tilt wheel working. All right, let's see, let's get in here. There's your center console. Under the center console. Get a seat belt on here real quick. All right, let's see. Village happy and help radio works fine. There's a CD player there. Another thing that work trucks generally don't have. There's your air. All those settings work fine. Tilt this wheel down a little bit. You got cruise control. Another thing that they don't have. This is a, a very loaded up, very high tech work truck. Um, kind of hard to even call it a work truck. But it is. Anyway, uh, aside from needing struts for that one work side uh, uh, tray thing on top of the bed on the driver's side, and uh, needing a toggle switch to make those rear lights function, uh, this thing is ready to go. It's on a clear title, so no need for any inspections. If you come to Tucson, you're going to pay a $250 dock fee, and you're going to pay taxes. Uh, $250 dock fee plus 2% uh, city sales tax here in Tucson and whatever your state tax rate is. So, if you come here to uh, Tucson to pick it up from out of state or in state for that matter, um, you're gonna pay 2% city sales tax uh, plus your state tax plus 250. Um, so, if your state tax rate is 3%, you're gonna pay 5% taxes, uh, you're gonna pay $250 dock fee and that's it. If uh, you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, uh, nothing else. No dog fee, no taxes.
very smooth. Super nice truck. Wow, this is really nice. These roads here, um, I don't know if you can see this, but this is Tucson. This is why you can just prove that to people that taxes don't work. Our tax rate is 8.1%. Every year it's to fix the roads. Well, the roads are like Bolivia here. Let me jump on it here one more time. This is a 25 zone, so this is never a good idea, but it gets this big truck rolling pretty good. Anyway, uh, please make sure you get your deposit, like I said. Um, also, uh, I give the speech now at the end of every video. This is not a new truck. Uh, it's out of warranty. The Chevy uh, designers and, uh, and uh, engineers couldn't give it a warranty for a million miles. They put it at X amount of years and X amount of miles for a reason. Why? They don't know what's gonna happen to it. Look at these holes. <laughs> oh, Tucson. Anyway, uh, so please, if you need a new truck, if you need to make sure that their, their truck's not gonna give you any problems ever, uh, you need to buy a new truck. This is not a new truck, okay? Um, they all have issues. There is some risk involved. We sell it uh, at, a, at a really fair price. Uh, so build in to your purchasing experience the fact that you may have to spend some money uh, from the money you save, which will be a lot, on an injector or a this or a that or a window motor or something. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that thought, do not buy this truck. I say this on every video, not just this truck. I throw everything under the bus at the end. Um, mainly for the eBay people who think that they can buy this truck for like $9 and that it would be perfect. Um, if you're one of the eBay people who's sane, please bid on this vehicle. It's going to be a great buy. And it's, what it sells for is probably what the, what the motor and the, and the bed are worth together um, without the rest of the truck around it. We just bought a Duramax motor for a truck and, that we needed, and the Duramax motor itself was uh, 4900 Without the core, it was about 5500 uh, And that's without a tranny. Um, that's without even knowing if the injectors work. These things are worth a fortune. Um, and I think that this bed on this truck is worth five or six grand. So, <laughs> if you can't appreciate the value, if you don't know what you're doing, if you need to have the free bottled water and the uh, free loaner car, truck, um, you need a sure thing. The auto mall will sell you this. They'll, they'll send it out, get a bed put on it, and you're probably only out of pocket like 30 grand. <laughs> okay, uh, that would be the answer. This truck is a hell of a truck in my opinion. Uh, I would say that you probably need those outside tires too. So the outside tires, the three or four inch struts that hold up that one uh, work uh, side and uh, we'll put the toggle switch in for the rear lights. That's it. It's a couple days till Christmas. Please be safe. Uh, don't get drunk and kill yourself uh, or somebody else at New Year's. That would be a bad thing for everybody. All right. Thank you very much.